Hey guys, so today I thought I'd do a perfume collection. I haven't done one of these in ages and I wasn't sure what else to film so I'm doing this. Uh, apologies if I'm sniffing, I think hay fever's already kind of caught on and it's making me all sneezy and gross so apologies for that but um, yeah so let me get into it. So I'm just going in any order, these are not chronological, these are not by type or by brand, I'm just picking up what's here. Um, and these actually aren't all of mine, I still have a few left in Hong Kong, um, but I kind of bring them over gradually, like year by year, because I couldn't take them all at once. Okay, so first we have um, Be Delicious by DKNY, this is the original Apple one. I'm going to spray these all on myself and I'm going to be smelling crazy. I love this one, I just love how fresh it is, and it's sweet, but it's still floral, it's really fruity, but it still has a floral kind of feel to it. Now, I warn you now, I'm useless at describing scents, so I don't even know why I'm doing this video, but <laughs> I'm just going to give it a go. So, I really like this, this is the one I've had f for probably about two or three years, it's not one I reach for all the time, it's quite a springy, summery scent actually, I might pull it out. Um, so I usually have one or two up where I do my makeup and then the rest behind me over there somewhere, yeah. Um, so I might actually pull this one out. I really like it. I really like all the Be Delicious ones. I think they smell amazing. Um, so yeah, that's the original green apple one. Then we have a Vera Wang one. This I got for a gift a few years ago and this is Preppy Princess. I'm not crazy about the packaging, it's a bit girly and um, kind of like teen, like tween, if you know what I mean, but I do like the scent. It's um, it's quite a strong scent actually, I don't know how to describe it, um, but the weird thing is the packaging's quite girly and quite young, but I don't think the scent is that young. Like it's obviously quite like floral and um, fresh, but it's not like really sweet. Um, so yeah, that's that one. I'm using the subscribe I apologise. Uh, next is a sample of Burberry Body. I love the packaging of this. This is not a good day to do this video because I have a bunged up nose. Not that you needed to know, but it's harder to smell them. <laughs> I like this one, it's um, I wouldn't say it's too strong but it's quite sophisticated and quite like, I like using this on a night out, you can see I don't actually have that much left, um, it's just a bit more grown up, and I do really like the packaging, I've seen the full size one, I think that's really pretty as well, and I'd say it's quite floral, I don't know, oh well. The next one is one of my all time favourites and I've pretty much run out, I'm going to have to get a new one soon and it's Rose by Paul Smith. I really like the packaging, it's really simple, it's quite heavy because you can see this bit is just glass, it's not all the way down. Um, but like the name says, it's very rosy, um, I always get compliments when I'm wearing this and I don't know, it's just a very kind of light and fresh fragrance. It's not too sweet, it's, even though it's rose, it's not like in your face floral, it's just quite fresh um, and it lasts quite a long time as well. Then we have this, this is called Love Etc from Body Shop, and it's just a smaller one. This I don't use as often as I should, it's quite small which is good for handbags. Some of these I haven't smelt in a while because I don't always reach for them but Oh, I remember why I don't wear this one that much. I think it smells a bit licorice-y, and I hate licorice. Like, it's it's fine, I don't mind wearing this, but I wouldn't be like, oh, that's nice. I really liked it when I bought it, but then as soon as I bought it, I was like, meh. Maybe it's just, it smells different in the body shop, because the body shop smells amazing. But um, I get quite like an aniseed-y kind of note out of that. And it's really quite strong as well. Then we have, what do we have? We have one of my all time favourites and this is Escada Ocean Lounge. I love Escada perfumes. My mum used to get me one every birthday um, when I was younger. I've had this one for, I want to say like four or five years. 
this is the second one she got me the other one she got me was like dark blue to purple and I can't remember what it's called but I love it and I wear these all the time yeah they're just very they're very sweet um so I did used to wear it a lot when I was a bit younger so like 14 15 um so they do remind me of my uh youth <laughs> I'm 19 I'm not old um but they're very very sweet and kind of in your face but really really nice and this is definitely a summer fragrance for me um <laughs> all these perfumes are clearing out my nose actually sorry that's so gross I don't need to tell you that um but yeah I love Escada perfumes I love all of them they're amazing they're just really sweet and fruity and fun next we have Oh Lola by Marc Jacobs I love the packaging of this and I quite like this but I really don't reach for it it's not one of my favourites like I don't think I, if I lost it I'd go out and repurchase it straight away it's quite nice I need to spray it again I've been using the same perfumes all the time I can't remember what they all smell like yeah that one's quite um, florally as you can imagine um, it is a really nice perfume it's just not like one I'm in love with um, but I do generally like the Marc Jacobs perfume, so I would definitely wear it. You can see I've worn it, but I don't go, ooh, I want to wear that. Let's push over my Escada one. Okay, next we have one that I never used to use because I don't like the packaging. Or well, I didn't like the packaging, I don't actually mind it now. But I got this qu quite a few years ago as a gift, and I was like, that packaging is so, like... Ugh, in your face um, but I've actually grown to not mind the packaging at all and I love this perfume oh my god it's like really vanilla-y it's again quite a young fresh fragrance most of mine are quite young ones because I've had them for a few years and I'm only 19 so they're all going to be quite young and um, fresh and fruity but I really, really like this one. And this, I would go out and repurchase when I finish it. This is the Harajuku Lovers G. I don't know if they still have this one. Because, you know, they always, like, swap out the dolls on top. And I don't know if they're the same ones. Or, I have no idea. Let me know, guys know if, you, if they still do this one. Um, but I really, really like this. It's really sweet and vanilla -y And not fruity or floral like pretty much all of my other ones. So, love that one. Next is one of my all-time favourites, and I'm surprised I still have so much left, because I got this, I want to say at least three or four years ago, and it's Marc um, Jacobs Daisy. This is a big one, this is 100 millilitres, um, and I got it for Christmas, one of those sets, quite a few years ago. I was still living in Hong Kong, so that's quite a few years ago now. And this is one, pretty much one of my all-time favourites. It's just so fresh and floral but at the same time it's not all like it doesn't feel like it's a young perfume it feels fairly like sophisticated or whatever I don't know I'm mixing up so many perfumes in here yeah oh. I just really like it that's the reason I bought Oh Lola because I wanted to try another Marc Jacobs one because this is one of my all-time favorites and this still wins it's just oh I can't even describe, I'm so used to this, I don't know why I chose to do this video, I can't describe perfumes at all, but it's just, I'm sure most viewers smell this anyway, um, this is definitely one of my all time favourites, I definitely would repurchase. Um, I have one more perfume, and then a few body spray things, um, so I'll do that perfume, this is YSL Parisian, now I bought this after I stayed over at Caroline's house, or Beauty Fix 101, and I... We're staying in her like spare room where she keeps all her makeup and her perfumes and while she was getting ready I was sniffing all her perfumes and I was like damn I gotta get me some of this um so I think this is 50 millilitres so 50 or 30 but it's lasted me quite a long time you can see I've used a fair amount I've only had this for I wouldn't even say a year um this is a really sweet one I'm running out of spaces to spray them Yeah, this is a very sweet one. Very summery fragrance. It looks so weird. I'm like, <laughs> a 
apologies, very summery fragrance. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call it f floral or fruity, it's just really sweet. But I get a lot of compliments when I'm wearing this one as well, and I think the packaging is really chic and it's really nice to have something that says YSL, I find that so, I'm such like, I'm just, I love labels and stuff, I'm so useless. Um, it looks so pretty on your vanity and it's just, Definitely one that's gonna appear more in the next few months now it's warming up a bit. It's like 12 degrees today, it's so hot. <laughs> I don't like how I put the cold, but it's getting there. Okay, and then we have three body sprays or just general sprays. The first one is Lime Coconut from HM. Now, I've liked this one for quite a while and I don't use it that often because it is sickly sweet. Um, I usually use it more in the room rather than on me. This is a new one, I just finished the other one actually. I bought this in Hong Kong, it was 19.99, no 19.90. Um, this I love because every time I spray it, it reminds me of Australia. Oh my god. You get the really strong lime and the really sweet lime and coconut smell and it's just smells like cocktails and it just smells like holiday and I just spray it around the room more than I spray it on me. I spray it on me when I'm on holiday, like beach holiday. Uh, just oh, it smells so good. These are really cheap and inexpensive, they're really good for your handbag and stuff. Um, I just love this, can't get enough of it. It's too intense for an everyday um, perfume, especially in England. And last but not least is one I've had for ages. I've had it since, I want to say I got it in New York and that was when Spanish, the Spanish um, won the world, the last World Cup because I remember them dancing in the fountain. <laughs> so that must have been, I think it was 2009 I want to say and it's a Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction Spray. Me and my little sister were obsessed with this for years. I can, just the smell of it brings back such nostalgia. Oh my god, it is so sickly sweet, but it's so, oh, it's floral, but it's, here we go, I'll just read what's in it, shall I? Refreshing body mist, cassava, melon, plum, and freesia. This is probably my favourite of the Victoria's Secret mists. I tried a lot of them out when I was in the store. And this, like, like I said, I just sprayed it on me and I'm like, memories. <laughs> it's just one of those scents that has so many years attached to it. Um, this is my only bottle. I kind of used it so much. And I, I love the scent so much. I'd spray it around all my room. I'd spray it on everything and then I got sick of it for a while. But I have a bit of a cold and I can smell this one the best out of any of the perfumes I've shown you. It's very, very strong. I definitely wear this as a perfume. Um, but I think it's better for like a room spray as well. But that's, you know, up to you. I'd wear this if I was a bit younger. I'm talking like I'm ancient. Um, but I I like to wear slightly more sophisticated scents half the time now. Um, this would be more of a holiday scent again. So I thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry that was completely useless. I don't know why I filmed it because I can't describe scents. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And I should film another video now because I have no time in the next coming months. Work for uni is just so intense. I can't keep up and I have to pass this year because otherwise I can't move abroad next year. Um, so I do apologise, I can't promise when things are going to be up but I just hope that you guys will stick around and hopefully I'll be picking up sometime soon but I'm just going to make videos and post them when I can and that's all I can promise. Um, but if you have any specific ideas because half the time I have ideas but I'm not in a state to film and I don't have time to get into a state to film and then today I had a bit of time and I'm already, I've just come back from uni so I'm already like made up and I didn't know what to film. So if you guys have any ideas, do let me know. And thank you for